Hey everybody, Jason Schneider here from perceptionacademy.com and today I'm going to be talking about the distinction between NLP and neurosemantics whereas again uh, as a generalization NLP has a, a very strong focus on on technique so on the step-by-step -step patterns on the processes as on the the practitioner as the the kind of all-powerful master who's doing NLP to you Whereas neurosemantics shifted the perspective a lot more and, and still maintains the perspective that the, the relationship or the, the person comes first. So, and this was one of the things that was something that I, in my mind, I, I agreed with in terms of my own personal value system when I first came across neurosemantics, that it was a, a big difference for me to be able to, again, kind of put myself out of it and focus more on, on, on the relationship between myself and the people that I was communicating with. But it was also a very difficult thing to do in my work because I was used to working with people the way that I did and I was getting great results in terms of working with people whereas I was the practitioner and I was doing stuff to the client. So it was a, a bit of a difficult thing for me to shift. but. I have found, and my clients have reported back to me, that the level of relationship that I build with my clients now and the, the all around, honestly, more enjoyable my life is and the more kind of actualized, <clears throat> actualized my relationships are now after making this shift is, is well worth the difference. So even if my clients were getting maybe it would take a little bit longer for them to get the same result. I think overall, it, it teaches a, a better, at a, at a higher level patterning, it, sh it demonstrates as a role model to the clients about how to relate with other people that goes well beyond the primary level outcome that they're after and achieving. So in neurosemantics, we focus more on supportive relationship, on creating a context, on actually using questions to elicit the, the, the kind of the new desired state to co-create outcomes, to co-create the actual step-by-step -step procedures that are gonna happen. And, and more of this becomes elicited from the client through the relationship and through the context, which is, like I said, it, it's super powerful and it was a bit of a, a hard thing for me to shift. But at the end of the day, the higher level understanding that kind of is presupposed in the background through working with someone in this type of way, it actually leads to more potential being unleashed within within yourself as a practitioner and also within your client. So uh, I hope you actually go out in the world and uh, and, and as you continue to learn neurosemantic NLP, you can focus more on the relationship and more on the actual client themselves than, than necessarily on yourself, your own power, the, the power of the tools or the power of the magic, and, and focus more on, on your relationships with other people. And you'll end up being more fulfilled yourself and also your clients will end up having a more holistic and systemically balanced outcomes in their, in their work with you.